Thank you so much for speaking to me today about advancing construction decarbonisation, Charlie. Um, would you be able to introduce yourself and give us a bit of context about what it is that you and the USGBC do? You bet. Thanks, Sasha, for, for chatting with me this morning. Uh, my name is Charlie Woodruff. I'm the regional director for the USGBC Mountain Region and uh, the point of contact for USGBC Colorado. Um, super excited about the advancing um, just advancing construction decarbonization, excuse me. Um, and yeah, USGBC has been at the forefront of this conversation around sustainability and green buildings um, for 30 years now. It's actually our 30 year anniversary and we're super excited uh, about what all that's going on right now. Um, and, you know, we, we created the lead rating system, of course, as most people know, and, um, you know, just currently excited about all that's going on in the market to um, advance this this conversation and really um, hit our goals that we've been talking about for so many years and um, all the new things that are happening um, to, to help us meet, meet that mission that we're that we're all working towards. So. Yeah, for sure. And it feels like a space that's advancing very quickly as well. So it's really exciting and timely that we have this conference. So um, as a member of one of the leading organisations in the sustainable construction space, um, what innovations or technologies have you been excited about recently? I think right now it's really exciting to be seeing um, all of the tools um, around embodied carbon that are coming out. Um, a lot of the uh, disclosure information that product manufacturers are working on. Um, just everybody in the industry pushing each other um, right now to um, solve this problem of of how to really decarbonize our buildings um, in so many different sectors, you know, multifamily, commercial real estate, um, all of that is um, advancing so quickly. And so, yeah, a lot of the tools, um, a lot of the partners, a lot of the product manufacturers and the teams that are working on on how to basically, you know, work to to put all this information together in the easiest way, right, for the construction industry um, and to build a better product um, for long-term um, sustainability of our communities. So, yeah, so much happening in this space and, and hard to cover it all, but yeah, a lot of, the, a lot of that um, innovation, you know, people are just, um, coming up with with you know tools that help us really get to the to the bottom line of of decarbonizing this industry. Absolutely, and there's so many innovative things that are coming out that I just never even would have considered, and it's just such an interesting space to watch. Really, um, I guess then I suppose what would you say are perhaps the biggest challenges that you see general contractors facing when it comes to sustainable construction? Well, I mean, so much, uh, so many challenges come to mind, but I mean, you know, how quickly projects move, you know, and, and really keeping up with, um, you know, all the moving parts of that, um, finding finding ways to, to um, reduce waste on construction sites, finding end, um, you know, end uses for, for products that uh, are for waste, waste streams, really, um, you know, solutions for waste streams is one of the big challenges. I think just keeping everybody on the same page too, because um, as the goals ratchet down, you know, on, in terms of uh, hitting net zero, uh, net zero carbon, net zero waste, those kinds of things, um, it's so important for teams to be communicating, um, you know, and, and, and coordinating um, all these different pieces. So I think that's one of the biggest challenges is keep, keeping up with how fast these things are changing, how fast the projects move and all the moving uh, moving pieces, right, of uh, very complex, um, you know, construction projects and hitting these very, um, you know, intense goals around net zero carbon. Absolutely. And I think with all the new legislation coming in and stuff, it was even harder to sort of keep track of that. And I think what we're really aiming to do with this conference is sort of lift the lid on that and help people to understand really what the sort of industry benchmarks are there. And I definitely agree as well, like waste reduction and salvaging are really presenting as issues at the moment. And I think that those will be in really interesting to discuss at, at the conference. Um, I guess then, like, the question that I really want to ask you is what are you most excited about about this event and what are you most looking forward to? You know, this is it's going to bring some together so many great leaders in this space. And so obviously the one of the biggest parts of conferences is just connecting with those leaders, um, you know, hearing the projects they're, they're working on um, and, you know, really just diving into those relationships and conversations with people one on one is super exciting. Always, um, you know, iterating to see people in person. Um, and, you know, like I, like you said, like I've said, 
it, things are changing so quickly. So these folks are at the at the front line, right, of of advancing the tools and and the projects and and uh, overcoming barriers. So I'm excited about connecting with people in person and and just hearing from leaders, um, not only from Colorado but from across the country that are working on these issues and and uh, yeah, just having a good time um, hearing hearing about um, those innovations that that everybody's working on. So it'll be great. Super excited about it. Yeah, me too. And I think especially like in sustainability, everyone's competitors, but everyone has the same goal in mind. We all want to save the planet. And I think it's really great to sort of bring those people together. And with the agenda this year, we've really tried to revise that format so that it really specifically allows for like as much networking opportunities and collaboration as possible. So yeah, I definitely think that's something to be very excited about. Yes, thank you for putting this conference on. We're, we're super excited to be partnering with you at USGBC and, and um, looking forward to the event. Yeah, we're looking forward to partnering with you too. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Charlie. It's been really lovely um, to catch up and have this conversation. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to the conference, which is now less than two weeks away. Awesome. We'll see you soon. Great. Thanks.